The Salford Victoria, built and opened in 1900, was popular with the locals. It homed musicals like The Desert Song, served as a movie theatre and then a bingo hall before its closure in 2008. All that's left now are memories of those who once cherished this theatre and an old, derelict building. One person who remembers the Victoria in its brighter days is Ray Walker. His apprenticeship in stage management allowed him to work alongside the stars of the past. Um, I started there when the first pantomime was there, which was Cinderella, with Ronnie Coyles and quite a few stars. I went backstage after the pantomime and saw uh, a guy called John Campbell and he sort of like said, we're looking for stagehands, do you fancy it? So I said yes. Those memories may now seem a thing of the past as this Grade 2 listed building sits on the Theatre Trust's at-risk register. Sam Kelly, the treasurer for the Save the Salford Victoria group, is trying to make her voice heard and get this building restored back to its former glory. There's a, a, a great deal of affection for the Victoria Theatre within the community. The aim of the group originally um, was to save the Victoria really for the community so that means restoring the theatre and bringing it back into use as a theatre. Brenda Kenny, whose grandma worked at the Victoria, believes that restoring the theatre would also bring back the heart of Salford City. Well, if it was put back to how it was, it could be used for lots and lots of things. It'd get people off the streets for a start. All that area what's been pulled down, that, that was the heart of Salford. And getting the Victoria back and people interested would bring it back. As we head into the new year, the group will continue to grow and finally attempt to wake up Salford's sleeping beauty. James Holt, Salford Now in Manchester.